Good afternoon. I'm Kimberly Peterson, Chief of Police with the Fremont Police Department. I'm here to provide information regarding our officer-involved shooting, which occurred on Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. At about 4.44 p.m., Fremont Police Officer Andrew Dennis was working uniform patrol in his marked patrol vehicle. Officer Dennis was patrolling the Northport Shopping Center, which is located at 4169 Cushing Parkway, in response to reports of criminal activity from the property owners. The Northport Center also shares entrances and exits with the Goodnight Inn, which is located to the rear of the shopping center. While in the parking lot, Officer Dennis observed a gray 2003 BMW exit the parking lot at a high rate of speed. Officer Dennis followed the BMW northbound on Cushing Parkway and conducted a DMV check on the license plate. The records check revealed that the BMW was reported stolen out of Redwood City on February 5, 2021. Officer Dennis notified dispatch that he was behind the vehicle and other patrol units were advised. Officer Dennis continued to follow the vehicle until sufficient units had responded to his location to help with the stop. Officer Dennis turned on his overhead lights and siren in a, an attempt to conduct an enforcement stop in the area of Stevenson Boulevard and Boyce Road. The stolen BMW turned left and fled west on Stevenson Boulevard at a high rate of speed. The vehicle continued until it reached a dead end, and then four suspects fled from the vehicle on foot and ran into an open field which is partially bordered by a series of industrial buildings and a large open parking lot. Okay, we have a green light and we're going to light it up into the intersection now. Huh? Yes, I'm making this up. 90. 90. Um, we are westbound. Stevenson coming to uh, Dragonfly, number two lane. Confirm he's taking off or you're going to try to stop it there? Uh, it's looking like it's taking off. Okay, we're going to take off. We are terminating. We are terminating. Okay, we're terminating at Westbound Stevenson from Dragonfly. Now, the problem is he's committed to a dead end here. Okay, for what's the cross then? No, I'm blocking in. He's going to take off with him, Bill. Field three times. Going northbound. Uh, two more. Into the field. Find one with the. Copy. They're taking off northbound. Okay. I didn't copy tonight. Cars clear. Off. Put chase southbound into the field. Copy. Put chase southbound into the field. Two thirty three channel. Officer Dennis and Officer Jeffrey Carter exited their cars and chased the suspects on foot into the field. As the two officers rounded a fenced corner, one of the suspects turned around and faced the officers with a firearm in his hands. The suspect began to shoot at the officers, firing the weapon multiple times. Both officers returned fire from their handguns and then immediately ran for cover. The officers broadcasted that they had been shot at with a rifle. Additional patrol officers arrived. A large perimeter was established with the assistance from the California Highway Patrol. The perimeter extended from Stevenson Boulevard on the north end, south to Automobile Parkway, and then from Boyce Road west to the marshland, adjacent to the San Francisco Bay. One suspect, a 16-year-old male from East Palo Alto, was located near the fenced area and he surrendered immediately to officers. Approximately 20 minutes later, the second suspect, a 17-year-old male from Hayward, surrendered to the officers near the location of the shooting. At this point in time, officers had two suspects in custody and two remaining on foot within the perimeter that had been established. The Fremont Police SWAT team was called out, along with SWAT teams from Newark PD and Union City PD to help search for the remaining suspects, who were believed to be armed. The SWAT teams were supported by Bearcat armored vehicles designed for municipal law enforcement agencies, multiple canine teams, and drones. East Bay Regional Parks Police Department and CHP responded with aircraft. 
At 5.55 p.m., in the middle of the search for the two outstanding suspects, Fremont detectives learned that this same group of suspects had conducted a home invasion robbery at the Goodnight Inn just minutes before Officer Dennis had seen their vehicle. The victim of the home invasion robbery relayed that he had been inside his motel room with a female friend when three armed suspects entered his room and robbed him. The victim told officers two of the suspects were armed with rifles and the third with a handgun. The suspects forced the victim into the bathroom and told him not to exit. Amongst the items stolen during the robbery were the victim's cell phone and vehicle keys belonging to a 2005 Chevy Cruze parked in the motel parking lot. When the victim emerged from the bathroom, the suspects, his female companion, and the vehicle were all gone. Investigators corroborated the story by locating video of the suspect vehicle, a gray 2003 BMW, before and after the home invasion in the area of the Goodnight Inn. SWAT teams continued the search for the two outstanding suspects for several hours after the shooting occurred. At 7.28 p.m., a CHP air unit spotted two persons hiding in the field behind industrial buildings. Officers surrounded their location and gave numerous commands to surrender. One suspect complied, while the fourth suspect continued to hide. A Fremont PD apprehension canine was eventually deployed after multiple warnings and engaged the suspect. The suspect continued to struggle after being engaged by the canine and still tried to run away. A less lethal 40 millimeter foam impact round was deployed at the suspect, which allowed the arrest team to detain him. The final two suspects arrested were a 14-year-old male from East Palo Alto and a 15-year-old male from East Palo Alto as well. During a search of the suspect's flight path, officers recovered three firearms in the field. An AR-15 pistol with blue handguards, a Glock handgun, and a 22 caliber Mossberg 715P. No involved officers or suspects were injured by gunfire during the incident. One suspect sustained injuries from the canine bite. That suspect was treated at a local hospital and cleared for booking the same evening. Due, due to the age of the four male suspects and current California law, detectives were unable to interview them. All four suspects were ultimately booked at Juvenile Hall. The following day, Wednesday, February 10, 2021, license plate reader cameras alerted that the Chevy Cruze stolen during the home invasion was in the city of Fremont. An enforcement stop with assistance from marked patrol units was conducted in the area of Mission Boulevard and Dakota Road, and four occupants were detained, including a 16-year-old juvenile female from Hayward who was present and directly involved with the home invasion robbery at the Goodnight Inn. The victim's stolen cell phone was located inside the vehicle as well. The female was arrested and later booked into Juvenile Hall. The following suspects were charged as listed. Juvenile number one. 17-year-old male, resident of Hayward, charged in juvenile court with attempted murder of two police officers, assault with a firearm on two police officers, first-degree residential robbery, and personal use of a firearm during the commission of these felonies. Juvenile number two, a 16-year-old male, resident of East Palo Alto, was charged in juvenile court with home invasion robbery and personal use of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Juvenile three, a 15-year-old male, resident of East Palo Alto, charged in juvenile court with home invasion robbery and personal use of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and juvenile number four, 14-year-old male, resident of East Palo Alto, charged in juvenile court with home invasion robbery and felony evading. Juvenile number five, 16-year-old female, resident of Hayward, charged in juvenile court with home invasion robbery and possession of stolen property. Due to the age of the suspects, no additional details to include prior criminal arrest history can be released. I'd like to recognize the bravery of these officers who are willing to confront armed suspects, nearly losing their own lives in the process. This is an example of the commitment and dedication all of our officers demonstrate every day serving to protect all of you. Because this case is linked to other crimes and will be moving on to criminal court, we must maintain the integrity of the investigation. For this reason, we will not be able to show all of our video evidence today, although eventually all of it will be publicly released on our transparency portal. Every time we make a decision on what video evidence to release publicly, we must balance several competing interests. The need to be transparent with our community, the need to maintain the integrity of the criminal investigation, the need to avoid tainting the jury pool or prosecuting the crime in the media, 
and the need to balance privacy protections, especially those of victims and juveniles. The Fremont Police Department would like to thank all of the agencies that assisted with this case. That includes the California Highway Patrol, Union City Police Department, Newark Police Department, San Leandro Police Department, East Bay Regional Parks Police Department, and Melpitas Police Department. The Fremont Fire Department, City of Fremont Streets Division, U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the property owners of Northport Center were also invaluable in this investigation. The Fremont Police Department will continue to update the community regarding this incident as the investigation allows.